Hello friends, it's me, Ms. B, hanging out with you today on Monday, March 16th. We're in the middle of the week, huh? Or in the, in, in the beginning of the week. Uh, my name is Miss B and I love to read kids books. I used to be a teacher and one of my favorite times was read aloud. And so I started a YouTube channel. It's called Miss B's Audio Reads. And some of the books I'm gonna read to you this week are, um, uh, are already on the YouTube channel. Today, we are gonna start with one of my favorite little buddies and we're gonna read a couple of books. Um, if you have been to my YouTube channel, you have probably heard these, but I figured why not join in the fun again. So kids, if you could take a moment and find something that makes noise. So if you have a shaker at home. Sometimes there's like little eggs. If you have sprinkles, if you know you have a tambourine, maybe you have something else that makes noise that I haven't quite, maybe you have some coins you could shake in your hand. Or if you don't have any of those things, you could just use your mouth. Shh, like a shh sound. Shh, 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 shh. So you can use that. I'm gonna give you just a minute to see if you can find something that makes noise because today we are going to do a little bit of reading Skippy John Jones. And if you've read Skippy John Jones, who happens to be one of my favorite amiguitos, little friend, he has little songs in his stories. So this first book is called Skippy John Jones. It's by Judy Schechner. And Skippy John, if you go to Skippy John, ask your mom and dad, um, Skippy John Jones, there are some cool activities on there that you can do on the website. I believe it's just skippyjohnjones.com. Um, I'm gonna give you a little activity to do after we read today, but um, but that's something that moms and dads can check out afterwards uh, if you wanna check out skippyjohnjones.com. So we're gonna read from my favorite amiguito. Amigo is friend in Spanish. Amiguito means little friend. So maybe you have lots of amigos and amigas. Maybe you have lots of little amiguitos and amiguitas. Uh, Skippy John Jones, and we'll get to the shakers in a minute. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Bridges, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mrs. Doohiggy's bird bath. The lecture went on and on, as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a moose or a goose or a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone. Skippy John Jones began to bounce. Go ahead. Everybody can stand up and bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. He bounced on his, oh, I'm sorry. He went bounce and bounce and bounced on his big boy bed. Oh, here's where we get the shakers out. We're gonna go just one, two, three. And if you know the song, you can sing with me. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed and once or six times I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big boy bounce, Skippy John shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So up he went again, and again it appeared. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, oh, my ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a chicken. Oh, 
Chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a muy, muy soft voice. As you get your shakers ready, muy means in a very, so in a very, very soft voice. So we can shake. And actually this one, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna do claps instead of clap, clap, or shake, ready? So it goes, we'll do it twice. My name is Skippito Frisquito. Or you can clap your hands. So let's try, you can shake or clap. My name is Skippito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done, yes, indeed. -o. Let's try it again. Ready? My name is Kipito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done, yes, indeed. -o. <laughs> nice. Y'all are good at this. Back in the kitchen. Juju B. Jezebel and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Juju B. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. What do you think he was doing? Hmm. What would you be doing if you were stuck in your room? supposed to be cleaning it up and not thinking about being that cool thing you want to be. We'll talk about that later. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. People say Mexico in English. You can say Mexico in Spanish. Not long into his journey, a misterioso band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. <gasps> Ay, caramba! Who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Skippito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Go ahead, take out your sword, you guys. Whoosh, whoosh. Are you ready? Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? Asked Poquito Tito. I go incognito. Incognito. Anybody know what that means? Incognito. That means you're in disguise, so nobody can tell who you are. Do you like rice and beans? Asked Pinolito. See, si, I love mice and beans, said Skipito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Hmm. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Skipito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ears. I just need you. Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Skipito. Then it is true declared Don Diego. Oh, we get to shake again, ready? Yip, yippee, yippito, it's the end of Alfredo Buzito. Skipito is here, we have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad bumblebito. Let's do that one again. That's the rhythm we're gonna do every, we're gonna shake like this when the songs come back. Yip, yippee, yippito, it's the end of Alfredo Buzito. Skipito is here, we have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad bumblebito. Or you can do the clapping part. Yip, yippee, yippito. Clap, clap. It's the end of Alfredo Buzito. Clap, clap. Skipito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad bumblebito. Then, all of the chimichangos went crazy loco. Go ahead, run around, crazy loco. First, they had a fiesta. You get up and move around. I need more room in my screen to do that. Go ahead, shake it off. Having a fiesta. Shake it off. All right. <laughs> And then they took a siesta. Hmm. You can take a moment, take a break, take a deep breath. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious business. 
Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great bumblebeeto for Skipito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos, so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Busito, whispered the crowd. Il blimpo bumblebeeto bandito. Si, sí, said Poquito Tito. The bandito steals our frijoles. Frijoles. Those are beans. Frijoles. Frijoles. <gasps> Not your beans, cried Skipito, outraged. Si, sí, Poquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue. Cacao, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly too. <gasps> And now he comes for us, Poquito added. Por qué? asked Skipito. Because we are full of beans too. <laughs> then Don Diego stood tall and in his most somber voice he declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Say it with me. Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? asked Skipito. The dude just wants his beans back said Poquito Tito, and you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Skipito. Then all of the chimichangos turned towards Skipito, the great sword fighter. But poor Skipito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamos, Skipito, or it is you the bandito will eat all. Ito is not how you say eat in Spanish. Comer. <laughs> Comer is eat, but you know. They cried. Skipito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the jello. Can you make your legs shimmy and shake like the jello? And his teeth, ah, oh, they chattered like castanets. To shake them. Then in a muy, muy soft voice, he said, My name. My name is Kipito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. But Alfredo Buzito flew straight for Skipito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the, from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles! cried Skipito as he thrust his sword into the air. Then suddenly, went the bandito, landing on Skipito's sword. And quicker than one could say, Chihuahua cheese and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Buzito, the bumblebito bandito. Oh boy, look at that mess. Ooh. Then, all the doggies burst into song. Oh, we get to get our shakers out again, ready? So you can either shake like this, or you can clap, clap. Ready? Yippee, 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 so clap, clap. Our hero is El Skipito, clap, clap. He's the dog of our dreams who delivers the beans, and now we can make our burritos, clap, clap. Ah, let's do it again, ready? Yippee, 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 so. Our hero is El Skipito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivers the beans, and now we can make our burritos. But back home, there was such a ruckus coming out of Skippy John Jones' room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down to the hall to the kitty boy's room. Bangito, Crashito, Papito, Skippito! Just in time to see Skippy John Jones' closet explode. Then out flew candy, beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday piñata on his head. Skippy John Jones, cried everybody. Hola, muchachitas, he said in a muy, muy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, purry kisses. What am I going to do, Mr. Coco Pugs? What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, 
Skippy John began to bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, everybody, can you stand up, take a big bounce? Bounce and bounce and bounce. Although you should not do that at bedtime. <laughs> oh, last song, ready? Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with my mind on my own and I bounce on my head for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say goodnight, Skippy John Jones, crawled his mama. Buenas noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. And that is Skippy John Jones. Y'all did a great job with the shakers. I wanted to teach you a, a little something in Spanish. So I wrote it down for you. Well, one word, and I didn't write this one down, but amigo or amiga, we talked about that. Amiga is your friend who is a girl. Amigo is your friend who is a boy. If you have more than one friend, they could be your amigos. If you meet somebody who wants to talk to you in Spanish, you can say, hola, me llamo, and then your name. Hola, me llamo, Miss B. Hi, my name is Miss B. Llamo, you notice that there's two L's here? They make that ya, yeah, they make the Y sound. Hola, can you say that? Hola. And then if you're feeling like you can do the next part, me llamo, my name is, and then you say your name. Just like, hi, my name is, hola, me llamo. You can practice that at home with your moms, your dads, your brothers and your sisters. All right, I think we have time for another book, and I think I'm gonna keep it on Skippy John Jones, if you all are good with that. If you need to take a stretch your arms, can you find your hands behind your back? Oh, and then stretch forward. Maybe if you're sitting on the ground, you can touch your toes. I'm wearing slippers. <laughs> are you wearing slippers today? Did you get dressed? I have a question. Did you get dressed today or are you still in pajamas? Hmm. I got dressed, but I kept my slippers on, you know, be comfortable at home. <laughs> All right. If you want to, you can stretch to the side and stretch to the side. Y'all are awesome. If you'd like to keep your shaker out, I'm going to switch to, um, to sprinkles. And if you listen, if you have different kinds of sprinkles at home, um, they make different sounds. Bigger sprinkles are gonna make certain sounds. Smaller sprinkles are gonna make certain sounds. What kind of bottle they're in are gonna make different sounds. That's a really cool thing to play with. Getting all your sprinkles out and seeing what, um, what kind of sound the shaker makes. You can start a band at home. Shaking it up. All right, we're gonna read another Skippy John Jones book. Skippy John Jones and the Big Bones. That was scary, huh? <laughs> all right. If you've read this one, you know we're back into the craziness that is Skippy John Jones and his crazy ideas here. Skippy John Jones was crazy about digging in Mrs. Dolly Doohiggy's garden. Because that's where Mrs. Dolly Doohiggy's dog, Darwin, buried all his bones. And nobody messes with Darwin. Two yards away, Mama Junebug Jones was hanging wash with her kitty when her kitty boy blew through the sheets like a muddy wind. Hey, pickle pants, <laughs> hollered Mama. Don't run with your mouth full. But pickle pants had only one thing on his mind. Mm-hmm. I think I know what it is. Dinosaurs. I'm going to be a famous paleontologist, whispered Skippy John. Skippy John Jones arriving at his room. Then he popped a pickle in his puss. He slapped some glue all over his newfound bone and stuck it on his model. Let's take a look at his model right here. Hmm. And you are my Skipposaurus, he added out loud. Who's outside listening? Skipposaurus? declared Mama Junebug Jones coming into the room. Those bones belong to Darwin, and you better take them back. And for your prehistoric fossil is that snoozing doggy snack. And do it now, ordered Mama, before he wakes up. 
But the kitty boy had no intention of returning Darwin's bones before he, here's our chance, bounced on his big boy bed. Ready? <laughs> First he pounced and wiggled. Then he bounced and giggled. All the way up to the ceiling he chanted, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed cause I love to eat pickles that tickle my head. Then he flung himself over to the mirror for a head check. Holy hairballs, exclaimed Skippy John Jones, pulling out his tape measure. That is one huge cabeza. Cabeza, that is head in Spanish, cabeza. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he added, my ears are too big for my head. My head won't fit into my bed. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a chihuahua. And quicker than you could say chunky chihuahuas and cream, the kitty boy picked up his cape and he pulled on his mask and then he began to sing in a muy soft voice. All right, so get shakers out again or you can clap. Clap, clap, ready? My name is Kipito Frisito, and I hunt for the dinosaurito. Clap, clap, which I can't go ears. It's been buried for years under layers of sedimentito. <laughs> At the same time, the kitty boy's sisters, Juju B. Jezebel and Jilly Boo Jones, were in Mrs. Doohiggy's yard watching Darwin sleep. This is fun, said Jezebel. Lots of fun, agreed Jilly Boo. The most is fun, added Juju B. But Skippy John wasn't thinking Darwin. He was thinking dinosaurs. And he knew where to find them, deep within his closet. Whoa, said Skippito. <laughs> it's a jungle in here. But as soon as he stepped over the threshold, his snifferito picked up the scent of his old amigos, los chimichangos. Stinkitos! Called out Skippy John Jones. I smell you, but I don't see you. Do you ever do that with your friends? You smell them, they're stinky, but you don't see them. It is I, El Skippito Fresquito, the great sword fighter. Up here, Skippito, hollered the Chihuahuas. We're toasting los marshmallositos prehistoricos. Not the prehistoric marshmallows, exclaimed Skippito. See, dude, replied the doggies, but they are as hard as rocas. Rocas are rocks in Spanish. Some things in this book are not really in Spanish. Some of them are rocas, rocks. You make a rrr sound, rrr, rocas. That's because they are fossilitos, said Skipito. Fossilitos, marshalitos, declared Poquito Tito, the smallest of the small ones. We want to see los dinosaurios with our own ojos, eyes, ojos, he said, pointing to his eyes. Por qué? asked Kipito. Por qué? It means why? Because Bobocito, oh, excuse me, because Bobocito, said Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. We hear they are really, really big, dude. This news made the chihuahuas go insane around the rim of the volcano, singing. Get your shakers out. Ding a ling, ding a long, ding a lito. You are such a silly skipito. You know what dogs think? It's it's good. It must think. Plus, it's great for the old snipperito. <laughs> Thanks for shaking with me. But right in the middle of their romp, Mount Ichigichi Gumba blew its top tossing the doggies right on their rumperitos. But a bump on the rump would become the least of their worries because boom, 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 boom. Can you say that with me? Shake your shoulders. Boom, 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 boom. The earth began to tremble and shake. Terremoto. That means earthquake in Spanish. Terremoto. Shouted Poquito Tito, panic-stricken. It's not an earthquake, Ito, said Skipito, peeking through the bushes. It's Team Mexiquito, Mexito. And he wasn't the only dinosaurio. 
There were big ones and small ones, feathered and bald ones. Some were spiky and frilled with a look that could kill. And they were all doing the very same thing. They were dancing. Ay caramba, it's the rumba, cheered the chimichangos. And before Skipito could warn them, the rascalitos had shimmied and shook their way into the dance line. This is loco. Loco means crazy, wailed Skipito. You will be crushed like crispitos beneath the dinos, but beneath the dinos to tostitos. That was a hard line. You will be crushed like crispitos beneath the dinos to tostitos. But the papitos did not hear. They were too busy singing. Itchy gitchy gumba, dinos do the rumba with jumbo jaws and giant claws, with horns and beaks and scaly peaks. Itchy gitchy gumba, Jimmy Changos do the rumba with great big hearts and tiny parts, with knobby knees and lots of fleas. Itchy gitchy gumba. But something had to be done to save them. And quicker than you can say, I should have studied my words. Pache Celio Forest. I didn't learn that word. Pache Cephalosaurus. Quicker than you can say, Pache Cephalosaurus. Forest. Skipito let out a big Jurassic -o bark. Go ahead, try it. You can probably make it bigger than I can. Holy halitosis, roared the Team Mexito. I smell the pickle breath of a Skiposaurus. I am not a Skiposaurus, declared Skipito, whipping off his mask. Whoosh. I am a Chihuahua. Not the pillow fighting, ankle biting, pickle dripping, dino tripping Chihuahua they call in Skipito Frisquito, the great sword fighter, shrieked Team Mexito. Oh, see, si, that is me, said Skipito with a bow. Then quicker than you can say, Don Diego's dominoes, every dinosaurio stopped, dropped, and rolled far away. Where's the fuego, dudes? asked Poquito Tito. There is no fire, said Skipito. They're just going extinto. Muy bueno, Skipito. <laughs> Muy bueno, Skipito. We love the Stinkito, agreed the Chihuahuas, and they tossed him into the air. Oh, we get to sing again. Diggery, diggeroo, diggerito. We learned something new from Skipito. He scares them to death with his old pickle breath, and that's how we get fossilitos. Then all of a sudden, maybe shake your shoulders. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. The earth began to tremble and shake. Every head popped up and sniffed. Dinosaurios, whispered the perritos. No, said Skipito. They are extinto. Si, sí, said the chihuahuas. Es muy stinkito. But it wasn't the dinosaurios. They smelled. Hmm. Hmm. It was Darwin. And he was knock, knock, knocking on Skippy John's closet door. Then click. The door opened and out tumbled the kitty boy on an avalanche of old dog bones. The next thing he knew, the kitty boy was waking up on the couch. What happened? asked Skipito. Don't you remember Sugar Beet? asked Mama Junebug Jones. You decided to return Darwin's, Darwin's dog bones. <gasps> All of them? asked Skippy. That's right, Dumplin', said Mama proudly. That very same night, the kitty boy found Mr. Perfect. Do you remember? His model. Mr. Perfect still in the corner, all covered in bones. <gasps> My Skiposaurus, he whispered. Then he dragged the cat over to his big boy bed for a good night bounce. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I'm not a dog fighter, but I still have some bones cause I'm the decider. Then he decided to go to sleep. <laughs> Skippy John Jones and the Big Bones by Judy Schachner. So just a reminder again, there are uh, some cool activities for moms and dads if you want to check out skippyjohnjones.com. Uh, things that you can print out. 
I have an idea. Uh, so if you want to share this with some friends, I am going to put it on my YouTube channel, moms and dads. Um, kids, if you want, uh, to look at yourself in the mirror, Skippy John Jones, uh, would look at himself in the mirror and he was a chihuahua. Maybe you see a chihuahua when you look in the mirror. Maybe you see a dinosaurio. Maybe you see a bunny rabbit. Maybe you see a mermaid. So I want you to get creative. Look in the mirror and what do you see? And if you would like, you can draw a picture of that. And if you, um, if you enjoy writing, you can write a story about what kind of adventure your incognito second personality would do um, if they went into their closet and went on an adventure. So if you would, if you wanna draw the picture and if you wanna add, you can write a little something about what kind of adventure you would have. And moms and dads, if you take a picture of it and post it under this video um, in the comment section, and you can, if you want, put your kid's first name and their age. I'll share a couple of them tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna read tomorrow, but I have a whole stack of books here. I have another stack in the other room. So I'm really looking forward to meeting with all of you tomorrow at one. Thank you so much for being here. And hey kids, be good to your parents. Tell them you love them a lot. Maybe rub their shoulders a little bit <laughs> and let them relax a little bit. Maybe right now you feel like reading your own book to yourself. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>